Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Charlie. Today, we're going to be reacting to some more Nostalgia Critic, and it's going to be My Pet Monster. Oh, boy. I don't think I've ever watched this movie. If it is a movie, maybe it's a cartoon or something. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've never heard of or watched My Pet Monster, but I'm sure it's going to be very fascinating because, obviously, the Nostalgia Critic's reviewing it, and it's most likely going to be good or bad. I'm begging it's going to be bad, because uh, <laughs> the Nostalgia Critic rarely uh, reviews anything like a good movie. Well, they're all good movies to me, but he thinks they're all bad. Um, but uh, yeah, let's uh, check out the video, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. <laughs> and today, we're definitely going to go back, practically into back your subconscious. Past. I want you to remember, when you were a little kid, walking through the video store, and you came across this. Mm. Don't act like you haven't seen this video. Every kid I in the haven't. 80s has. <laughs> it was in every video store you could imagine. And some of us were unfortunate enough to rent it. Pray for those people, <laughs> my friends. Pray for those people. Yeah, i never seen so, it. So, before we talk about this stupid movie, let's take a look at a little background. My Pet Monster was a hit toy Ooh. in the 1980s, and oh my it God, was what the fuck awesome, is that? mostly because it was the only dog oh. that boys could play with without looking like a pussy. That's I mean, creepy. come on, a monster that's a pet? What boy's not gonna love that? One of the big gimmicks was that he had orange chains that you could break, but we <laughs> found out later it was made of plastic and Velcro, the fucking liars. But nevertheless, <laughs> the doll was awesome. Sometime later, they made a cartoon show that was based on the doll, but that has nothing yeah, to do with course. this. This is an hour-long made-for-TV movie that was trying to cash in on their product as quickly as possible. Damn. And trust me, it shows. Is it worth seeing? No. <laughs> Are we going to? Yes. This is My Pet Monster. So the film starts out, oddly enough, as a video game. What? Strange, seeing how My Pet Monster was everything but a video game. Yeah, but sure. hey, <laughs> Nintendo just came out and we're ready to whore out anything. <laughs> Another odd thing that you'll notice is that you see two other monsters in this opening. One was My Football Monster, which was a spin-off toy, and the other is Beastor, who is an enemy of My Pet Monster. And mm. wouldn't you know it, neither of them are in this fucking film. Why okay. have them in the opening if they're not going to be in the rest of the movie? It's yeah. like having Harvey Dent in the first Batman movie and never using... Okay, bad example. It's like having a Lizard Man in the Spider-Man movies and never using... Okay, that also doesn't work. It's like having all these X-Men and never having them used to their full potential. You know what? Movies <laughs> fucking suck. So after that 8-bit opening, we see a happy family who I swear has the mother from You Can't Do That on Television. We see our main character is a little boy named Max and his sister named Melanie, played by Allison Court who's actually done a shitload of voiceover work, yeah. including playing Claire in the Resident Evil games. Oh, wow. Lord yeah, knows, I, I could I use some flesh-eating zombies in this flick, but I don't hold out much hope. The kids go on a field trip to the museum, where an angry scientist named Snyder up before. is not amused like, oh, yeah, to be a yeah. tour guide to such ruffians. Must Mostly from Resident Evil. I this idiocy. I have Resident more important amazing. things to do than to take a bunch of children on a tour of the museum. What can be more important than these children? Hmm. They're the future of our civilization. <laughs> If they're the future of your civilization, you're fucked. <laughs> I remember when I used to pretend to be a monkey in eighth grade. Yeah. No, I God, didn't. I, was pitied. Yeah. I don't think I did no that. I don't think I acted like in a the monkey. Museum. Is that clear? Who does that? Is that clear, Maxwell? <laughs> yeah, good one, Bernie. <laughs> good one, Bernie. I'm so writing that down when I get <laughs> home. <laughs> Dear diary, Bernie said another joke today. God, he's funny. <laughs> oh, if only he knew God. the feelings I had. This is creepy. Him. If only I was Such brave enough to tell him. in the bed, Brighton. That's weird. God, I'm a coward. <laughs> so Snyder shows them these Babylonian artifacts that look more like the ancient civilization of the Muppet tribe. The inscriptions on these tribal artifacts reveal that these statues possess the power to transform anyone who stands before them. Really? They just look like they were made yesterday. Monster. They're not really artifacts, are they? Well, thanks for using the scientific <laughs> term, monster. <laughs> hey, tell us another one. Hey, yeah, that's a good one, Bernie. What is up with this kid and constantly sucking Bernie's dick? It's like the yeah. Kevin Eubanks of little white children. In fact, look at that. He was about to cop a feel. I swear uh. to God, he was about to cop a feel. Hey, yeah, that's a good one, Bernie. I almost had my chance today, but I chickened out at the last moment. Stupid Billy, stupid. <sighs> One day you will be mine. <laughs> uh, this is God. no bedtime story. This is fact. 
fact that facts. I have no facts to back up with. Your feelings yeah. are not facts. Of research <laughs> and documentation, and for what? So my colleagues can call me crazy? Yes. So insignificant bunches of little brats like If you, you want people to stop calling you crazy, stop acting crazy. Uh, a man of science. You're a man not of science. Not a tour guide. Uh, wow. Bravo, sir! Bravo! Yeah. Your years of the Shakespearean theatre have finally paid off! <laughs> yes, bravo. What a crackpot. That doctor needs a doctor. And you need a muzzle. <laughs> Good one, Maxie. Okay, did the writer only have two lines of small talk in this movie? How yeah, many times are we going to say good one? It said more times than Tommy Wiseau <laughs> says, oh, hi. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hot dog. Oh. So the statue decides to transform Max because... Derpity-doo. Yeah. And his sister sees what's happened. <laughs> You're a monster. They go to no Dr. Schneider to show what's happened to Max as we get to the point that really fucking pissed me off as a kid. What? Excuse me, sir? Your statues turned me into a monster. What the hell is that? What the it fuck? Works. It's like a demented cookie aren't monster. Gonna like this. I mean, what? You just turned into a monster. Are your parents aren't gonna like this? What like it's that? just a bad haircut? How the fuck does that look anything like what's on the box? That's yeah, not my that's one monster. thing, it's but I just more was scared how calm I mean, he is. If you're going to all the work to make the monster on the cover look like the toy, if you're not gonna make the monster in the movie look like the toy, I mean, what's the per? Oh my god. It is the fucking toy! <laughs> they just put the toy on the fucking cover! I never noticed it before, but look! It's the plastic chains, the cheap fur, it's the fucking toy! <laughs> that means that they were so ashamed to show the real monster from this movie that they just decided to switch it with the toy! Damn. So let me get this straight. Uh, oh, Jesus. The children's play thing that you can get at Toys for Us for like $15 is a better special effect. Well, you can't get that at Toys R Us anymore because I believe Toys R Us shut down. Nightmare! Toys R Us shut down, I believe. You lied to me, movie! You lied to me! It went bankrupt or something like that. But no, instead That's I'm a shame. Getting... Oh, the fucking crack, baby, of where the wild things are! <laughs> so if you were a little kid like uh, I was, you were obviously very disappointed. Rest in peace, Toys, but toys of Us. It. It's better watching <clears> this than going outside or learning something. So Snyder sees this as his ticket to fame and fortune as he locks the kids in the room. Uh, is the bus still there? Why is, to why is a kid acting well. so calm and we'll see professional? That You've got monster powers. So they managed to break out of the room as Snyder spots them. If I woke really? up one How day, went to a museum and looked a like a fluffy teddy bear monster, monster I'd fucking lose it. I'd be screaming in my head off. The museum? It sure wouldn't shock me. They probably have a sign outside that says, Warning, may turn you into technicolored <laughs> Wookiee diarrhea. I mean, at least it'd be a heads up. First so thing Snyder's I'll check if I've still got my gem down below. The boy has changed back. They escape What's the point of living if you ain't got that? Make their way back home. Their brother Rod comes home, who I think is played by Alan Thicke before puberty. And he's <laughs> dating a young lady named Stephanie, who's getting her poodle Tippy ready for the dog show. <laughs> but Melanie goes upstairs to find that Max is transformed into a monster again. Max! What? <laughs> what? You're reading a comic? Why are you reading a comic? You've transformed into a hideous blue beast! Yeah. How about an ooh or an ah? I'm a hideous blue beast! I mean, am I missing something? It doesn't make any sense. I think I asked somebody about this. Yeah, house, please. Hey, Rob, this is you just... ever hear about the... <laughs> oh, my what? God. What happened to you? What are you talking about? <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, yeah. I'm a dinosaur. No, okay. Oh. Okay. Let's you suppose mind? that. I'm trying to read the far side. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gary Larson. I like cows, too. <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> so Tippy starts to bug the kids as Rod goes weird. upstairs to get him. <laughs> wow, what? I guess monster powers include sloppily putting the film in reverse. Huh. So his girlfriend is or angry traumatizing because her dog is messed up as they it try to hide Max. Out. Hi. What's that? Oh. What is this? Actually, that's, uh, that's my pet monster. Chief, that's almost as bad title dropping as the Lord of the Rings movies. <laughs> There's only one Lord of the Ring. You shall be the Fellowship of the Ring. The Union of the Two Towers. To deny the return of the King. Almost. 
<laughs> so Max changes okay. back, but it turns out the siblings have an anyway. even bigger problem than the scientific discovery of a lifetime. What? Like getting Tippy her perm back. We you gotta, gotta be joking. Fast. Let's go. So really? He tells me these guys gotta get their priorities straight. Snyder follows them in Mr. Bean's car as they arrive Mr. at the dog Bean's salon. Car. And <laughs> Mr. Am Bean's I car the was only green. Was disturbed it? that their abbreviation is KKK. I mean, oh god, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that is black. The two guys so... that run the place read in the paper that Tippy is the most likely to win the dog show, because I guess that's really newsworthy, when lo and behold, she's dropped right into their lap. We're gonna grab her. <laughs> that little puffball is gonna be our ticket out of this dive. But that's her dog nap. Uh, is this really what we're gonna focus on half the time there's a kid with superhuman strength that looks like a navi furball and half the time <laughs> is focusing on this fucking poodle boy they really oh. know what kids want to watch don't they i guess okay, you don't have to spend like two thousand dollars on a first so yeah, and also i guess Snyder that's an advantage <laughs> just turn into a furry so to speak anytime you want there is a fury before my very eyes I mean, not attractive one. I mean, it's a monster. Uh, wait a minute. Did he just say look to a tape recorder? Good God, guy, you're a scientist. <laughs> if you can't tell the difference between a camera and a tape recorder, you shouldn't be in this field. <laughs> I sense something is approaching me. <laughs> Go on, smell it. Come back here. What? Oh! The hell just yeah. happened? He's a Bella doctor, a not a uh, coming through a door. Must be one of those Escher design to... buildings. They give Snyder the slip, but Max is confused for a uh, dog by one of the spa people. Terrible oh, jokes. Get out of your cage. Come on, get back in there. Yep, I guess he's confusing it for that rare breed of blue horned Rottweilers that were really popular back then. Yeah, because it's really easy to fucking she's picking confuse. Him up. Thankfully, there's no paperwork in this world, so he just mm. believes her and lets her walk out with him. Our heroes find out about the dog mapping and try to see if there's any way they can get Tippy back. Go back to Carl's shop and rescue Tippy. Look at that kid's Just face like that? in the background. He's hey, like that guy. I can't go anywhere yeah. looking. He was like shocked this. that was he was in the movie. Yeah, it's good. Oh, don't. Wow. Oh, like, all that God. incredibly racist. If, like, wow. Figure out what race they were trying to offend. You can't do that. That's fucked up. Uh, store closes in ten minutes. We'll meet you there. We'll take on a shortcut. And try and keep up this time. Just watch me. They can say. Jesus! The movie what? just got a sudden meth attack what? out of nowhere. He's the thing alive. What the hell is this monster? Sonic on but steroids? Snyder is at the dog spa waiting for them. He forces Max to put himself in a cage, or else he'll. That's it. Hold his. This is hand Sonic on steroids. Just eat the fucker. This is what happens when you do drugs, guys. You turn into Sonic <laughs> on steroids. Try these on. You turn into um, the fucking okay. cooking monster. I know that's part of the toy and everything, but what the hell are giant orange chains doing there? Were they yeah. killing a gorilla? Was the Incredible <laughs> Hulk playing his kinky night games again? No! Hey! I'll be back in a jiffy. So Max changes uh. back, but luckily Rod is there to save them. But they also have to save the poodle because... Again, that's the number one concern in this movie. Jesus. However, the two goons are stupid enough to bring Tippy to the dog show and claim that she's theirs, never thinking for a minute that maybe the original owners might show up. The story oh, reminds me of fucking Garfield. Jesus. Up. Dog thinking that. is hard. Put down that check, you dog napper. I also love the fact that they dress up Max like a dog that again new to get movie inside, Garfield. and yet nobody at the dog show, a <laughs> fucking dog show, Bill can Murray tell whatever that it was. he's not a dog. Stevie Wonder with his nose <laughs> plugged, his fingers in his ears, and trapped in a box can tell that he's not a dog. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. We're all free. But luckily, Max is there to stop their gift. What's with the speed ups? What? The... Hey, guys. De they're scared of that? Remember me? Some... Oh, wow. You were really scary till you started talking. <laughs> no, you just sound retarded. What? that truck hadn't broken down, those hoodlums might have gotten away. What if... Oh yeah, the truck that broke down and ripped <laughs> its own door off. It's an everyday occurrence that foils most getaways. What happens if you shoot it? Great, you know the, the monster. Yeah, Would fluff come out of it? <laughs> All right, I'm back to normal. So as the oh, two kids walk off into the sunset, Snyder talks to one of the monster statues and gives us a very strange and actually kind of creepy ending. 
It was I who found you and restored you to your ancient splendor. Why was I not chosen? Damn. That's weird and bizarre. Jesus, that's it? T what the hell kind of ending is that? Yeah, There's no sequel to this movie or spin off show, so that's pretty much all we got. When I was a kid, this scared the shit out of me. I mean, <laughs> What happened? Did he turn <laughs> you should have watched The Exorcist. What Jesus. kind of sick, evil way is that shit when I was eight. Kids movie? Oh well, who cares? Still have movie fucking nightmares. <laughs> Growing up with this toy, you sort of figure the idea would be, well, to have a pet monster, hmm. not have a boy turn into a monster. So even the setup is flawed. But on top of that, it's a lazy story with lazy writing and lazy Yeah, and lazy everything. And plus, that creepy ending for little kids. I mean, it's not the worst, but unless there's a reason for it, it's just needlessly scary. Mm. What was the director thinking? What was the idea behind <laughs> this? In fact, I'm going to call the director right now and find yeah, out. Yeah, and this movie is it's just a commercial, huh, This is a nostalgia critic, so and I want right. to know what the hell you were thinking with the ending of My Pet Monster. In fact, what the hell were you thinking with the entire movie in general? Yeah, good question. Well, I, I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, I, yeah, yeah, I saw the cover. I, I still rented it. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I watched it willingly. No, I'm not babysitting anybody. I, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm 28. Oh, fucking hell. Well, it's, um, it's kind of my job. I, uh, yeah, I, uh... <laughs> watch children's programming and tell people what I think online. Uh-huh. Uh okay. <laughs> I'm very happy that you're kidding me. Yeah, <laughs> Busy. yeah we're done. We're done. Yeah. Um, they go the way as figure one. Uh, thank you for your time and sorry to have inconvenienced you. Okay. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Life sucks doesn't a nostalgia critic. <laughs> I'm a nostalgia critic and... And I gotta think a few things through. Mm. Oh god, why is there a Halloween pumpkin face on the table? <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Let me guess a jump scare or something, I don't know, Jesus. Oh, there's a white mask over there from like Phantom of the Opera or something like that. I'm just looking around in the room. Candles. Five candles, let's see. Mm, six candles all together. Uh, what else? Oh, that's the end. Okay. I think there might be music. I don't know, it might be removed from copyright. The end. What the fuck is going on? This is a really strange ending. I mean, this is not as usual. Yeah, that's a good one, go. Bernie. <laughs> oh boy, that was a really strange ending. But I think that's what he was trying to do because uh, the movie ended strange, so he ended the uh, his sort of review strange. I mean, hey, that's a good what that's a good one. That's um that's a very genius way to do it. But uh yeah, I mean, my pet monster. I never grew up with it. I never watched it. Um and you know, I mean, I mean um. Yeah. I'm not going to say this is a good movie. Um, I, I'm not going to say it's a bad movie. I'm not even going to touch this one with a 10-foot pole, so to speak. Uh, I, I don't think... Actually, fuck it. This isn't a good movie, in my opinion. I, I, I think it's just a commercial product. Like, oh, let's make a movie based on our product and let's try to sell our product. You know, it, this stuff has happened before. Um, and it, it just really sucks uh, because they... <laughs> They sort of, it's, the story is shit, the, the sort of camera and, you know, video footage is terrible, the actors are terrible, just everything about the movie is god-awful terrible, um, and you can't really just sit down and enjoy these sort of movies, because they're designed to make as much money as po possible, to profit, to market their, um, you know, products. So it's not really a movie, it's just like a product advertisement you're watching. A two hour long product advertisement video or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, 
that was creepy. He looked, the kid looked, the kid was so calm. It's like, oh boy, my parents aren't gonna be liking this. You just turned into a fucking monster. What are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? You just turned into a monster and you're acting calm and irrational like you just had a, ha a bad hair day. Like someone just cut one of your eyebrows off or something like that. I mean, Jesus Christ. Have some realistic reality here. I mean, you have just turned into a furry. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. But you've just turned into a bloody weird monster furry thing. And uh, yeah, you might want to consider uh, being a little bit more scared because it's not a suit. If you can't take the suit off, then damn, that's pretty scary. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I guess it's a dream gun true for furries. You know, you can turn into a monster or furry thing and you know, and never have to pay $2,000 ever again to put on the suit. I mean, it's a dream come true. Uh, but it was a, a dreadful, dreadful sort of monster cookie monster on steroids or something like that. Or maybe Sonic on steroids. I say it's like Sonic and the cookie monster genetically combined together and then mutated. That's what it looked like. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be the end of the video, that's me done rambling how god-awful this movie looked. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give a like, comment down below, and make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>